Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Obis Gangster here. So what's this? A non-Android video? Well, for those of you who've been following my Facebook fan page and my Google Plus page, you probably know that I've been talking about expanding my content to just pass Android open source, but open source of the world. But don't worry, I'll still be doing a lot of Android related videos. So to start us off, let's talk about running Mac OS X and Linux. Now, people have been asking how can you virtualize an operating system like Mac and another operating system like Linux, and it's very easy thanks to QMO. And to do this, you just need the following, to be running a Linux based operating system and have decent hardware. So at least, you know, a 2 GHz CPU and at least 2 gigs of RAM, and that's pretty much it. So let's get this started. Open source gangster, hey! Note, you need a special Macintosh ISO called IPCX86. Google it. What you want to do is open up the terminal, then type in sudo apt git install qmo and hit enter, and it will download and install qmo. What you want to do is type in qmo image create followed by the image name and a size followed by a g for gigs. Okay, now the long part. We have to set up the image to be ran on a virtual machine. So what we want to do is type in chemo system dash x86 underscore 64 and then set up the hard drive. Now it's going to be dash hda the path to your image file. So for example mine is uh, host downloads c dot x dot img. Then we do is type in uh, space dash vj standard std then space uh, dash m and set the memory or the RAM amount that you want to run. I'm allocating 2 gigs, but if you want to allocate more or less, it's up to you. Then you want to add space sound hardware AC97, then set up the CD-ROM, which is the path to your IPC ISO. So mine is host downloads IPC uh, x86 10.5.6 ISO, but yours may be something different. So essentially all you're doing is just copying and pasting what I have below and just filling in your specific location. And then type in boot D and hit enter and QMO should boot up with Mac OS X. It's going to ask you to hit any key to start up so make sure you hit any key and it's going to load. Okay first thing you want to do is select your country and your language. Hit next. When it, what you want to do is go to utilities and go to disk utility. Your image file should be displayed. Go to erase and then go to erase and hit erase. This will create a partition on your blank image file. Once the partition is created, you can quit the disk utility. Now hit continue. Select your image. Now hit customize. Now it's very important that you go and you select the 9.50 Voodoo kernel as part of the installation file. So go to kernels 9.5 Voodoo kernel. Then what we want to do is select the legacy app Intel chipset driver. So go to drivers, chipset drivers, and legacy Intel. Now what we want to do is go and select the audio. So once again go to audio drivers and go to AC97. And finally what we want to do is select the keyboard and mouse patch just so you can have a working keyboard and mouse while using this. So patch and fixes. PS2 keyboard and mouse fix. And that's all the required drivers you need to have installed before using this. So you can hit done and then go to install. You can skip the disk check and installation should take around 20 minutes. So stay tight. Now it's time to boot up Mac OS X. What we want to do is type in chemo system dash x86 underscore 64 boot c vj standard once again set the ram uh, 2048 and HDA in the path to your image. And this is what we're going to do every time you want to boot up Mac OS X. 
and hit enter. And OS X should boot. Should go into the bootloader. And once again, ask you to press any key and it should start. Now just run through the setup process and just set up and configure however you will like it. And you can skip all the registration and just go right into OS X. And here we are. We are running in Mac OS X Snow Leopard 10.5.6. So everything works just how it should. Uh, smoothness is pretty smooth, but once again, that will be depending on your computer. But you have all your applications and your documents right where you normally would have them. And you have access to your files and everything else. So of course, if you're a big Apple fan or if you're a person who just wants to try out something before you even going into a Hackintosh, this is a great place to start. And you have all your files and everything else. So thanks guys for watching. This has been how to run Mac OS X in Cumo on Linux. And once again, I highly suggest you to check this out and have fun with it and try it for yourself. So thanks for watching and tune in for another galvanized video. Thanks.